Uh, sometimes in your oral examination, uh, you are asked uh, the information that is provided in the loading manual of a bulk carrier. So I thought I'll just make this a uh, quick video and list out the contents of the loading manual that is provided on a bulk carrier. Now, as per SOLAS, uh, bulk carriers uh, are required to have a booklet that covers uh, the essential stability data uh, the ballasting and deballasting rates of pumps, maximum allowable loads on the tank top and per hold, guidelines on loading and discharging, information designed to limit hull stresses, and uh, restriction on operating conditions as well as means to carry out any necessary strength calculations for hull. Now, all this information was required to be covered in booklets, and that is where your load manual for bulk carriers comes in because it is necessary to plan the cargo loading discharging and storage as per the loading plan now the loading plan describes the design load conditions including the still water storage factor and bending moment so that means even when the ship is still in port or stationary what kind of a storage factor is required and uh, or experience or what kind of bending moments are experienced by the vessel it also defines the allowable local loading to be carried out on deck to ensure weights or stresses are not exceeded as well as under the hold the operational limits are included as per the specific ship as well then alternate hold loading arrangements and holds allowed for it uh, because these are the holds that are designed to take extra load and require class approval are provided as well information on that is provided as well so holding on alternate holds helps to deal with the stresses of bin, uh, sagging and hogging that the ship may experience when loading bulk cargo in big amounts or heavy amounts uh, finally, the loadicator or the ship's computer that assists in the loading complements the loading manual as a valuable PC based tool uh, for planning and controlling the cargo and ballast operations, uh, rapidly calculating the storage factor and the bending moments experienced by the vessel uh, both at sea and when in still water, as well as identifying imposed structural limits that is, hull stresses. Uh, now, if you Notice then as per SOLAS, IMO actually prefers the name loading instrument to the loadicator and that's it's a particular circular also refers to uh, a circular as per the loading instrument and does not include the word loadicator. Uh, but loadicators are of course useful PC based tools and they pretty much do the same job as the loading instrument. So these are the contents of the loading manual of a bulk carrier and uh, together with the PC based tool or the loadicator they form a valuable tool for the ship's officers uh, carrying bulk cargos. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thanks.